First things first, tell us the excitement when John Longmire said you're playing your first game in such a long time. Yeah, look, it's, it's been a moment that I've, I've dreamt of over the last six years since I last played. I was just over the moon. It's excitement, nervousness, everything, everything you know, over the last few years that have built up. It was, it was an amazing feeling. What a team! That culture, the bloods! The last time he stepped on a footy field, Buddy Franklin was an opponent. Now he's a teammate. What have you, I guess, you noticed in the change of the way of this list at the moment? You know, it's a ruthless industry, the AFL. The, the turnover of players is huge. Now, there's a lot of players that I'll run out there with tomorrow night that I haven't played with. And yeah, Bud's one too. That the last time I played, you know, he was in a Hawthorne jump. Obviously, I'm happier he's on my team rather than the opposing team and I don't have to look after him. The average AFL career is the best part of five and a half, six years. You've spent that in rehab down in the dungeon here at the SCG. What were some of the darkest moments during that period? I think probably at the end of 2015 when I'd, I'd had another reconstruction, my fourth reconstruction. I was in there for probably seven or eight days and then my knee started to blow up and I, I was struggling to walk. I, I went and saw the doctors and they sort of said, let's, let's get you to hospital as soon as we could. You know, football was the furthest thing from my mind at that point. It was simply getting to, on top of this infection that had taken over the knee and um, making sure I got my health back first and foremost. You know, sitting in a hospital bed, I think I was in there for two weeks. Had two bouts of surgeries in that period and yeah, it was a really tough time. People talk about resilience and dealing with adversity. You've had more than your fair share. What have you learned about yourself? I think I've matured a, you know, a huge amount in the last five and a half, six years. Yeah, I was just a kid when I when I started going through my first knee injury and I've always put things into perspective and, and looked at other people throughout the world and you know, even in my family, like going through sicknesses and things that, that can actually threaten their lives. The reality is I've, I've had a sore knee for five or six years. I've still been able to come to work with a great bunch of people and you know, hang out with my friends and, and travel a little bit as well. So I've always looked at that and, and thought I'm actually not that hard done by it. Just personally, is this a sense of closure that you can come back and get back out the AFL field and then onwards and upwards from here? Yeah, definitely. It's been one of those things waiting for this moment. The fact that it's here, I'm just unbelievably stoked about. I'm, oh, I just can't wait for it. So I look forward to getting through this one and then building from there and starting, you know, almost the second part of my career. I'm proud that I've been able to get through you know, the last five and a half, six years, you know, of turmoil and disappointment, really, to, to be able to get back here. And, and, you know, if I can help one other person, I'll be happy with that. Is there going to be some tears in the stands from uh, Graham and Joan and Marissa? Yeah, look, I, I think there will be. I, you know, I, I called mum and dad as soon as I got the news on Wednesday, and dad didn't understand what I was saying at the start. I don't think you can hear on the phone too well these days, but, but yeah, I spoke to mum and, and she was really emotional about it. She's um, she's been an unbelievable support for me. You know, a huge rock throughout this period, and she's always felt for me and probably hits her harder than it does me because I'm going through it. Someone else is my girlfriend, Marissa. She's never seen me play AFL. It's incredible. So, Five and a half years you've been together. And she's never seen me play. Yeah, so never seen me play AFL. Uh, so I think she's more excited than I am for Saturday night. You know, hopefully yeah. celebrating a good win against Collingwood, there'll, there'll definitely be a few tears. Well, AJ, it's so glad to be here and interview you and, and good luck for the rest of the, uh, the rest of your career. And it's just fantastic to see you out there, mate. Yeah, thank you so much, mate. Great work. Sensation, brother. Love it.